Ring, ring, ring. Postman. Who this? Sherry the worst. Down on my luck. Down on my luck. When I get down on my luck. Down on my luck. Down on my luck. Down on my luck. When I get down on my luck. Down on my luck. Okay. All right. Okay. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jerry. And ah, it just looks so cute. This look just looks so pretty. Like this is such a pretty look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me what you think about it. I just I literally just did a fashion show, right? And I had like a bunch of gems and like gold foil left over from it. I love the gems so much and I really really wanted to use them so today I just wanted to like just use the rest of those gems and here we are today with the look that we came up with I really hope you guys enjoy it. it's an extremely easy freaking look like this is I'm, I'm mad I didn't come up with this look when I first started doing makeup because I would have aced this like this would have been a perfect step for me but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed so what you think about this look and finally <laughs> finally let's get started all right Okay, you guys, so as usual, I'm starting off with my base. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. Then I'm going to set my base with my Beauty Bakery Setting Powder. If you're new to my channel, you probably don't know what a base is. If you're not new, you're going to think I'm annoying with saying it. But <laughs> it's just good to know, you feel me? Starting off with a base is going to make your eyeshadow stick to your lids as well as make it pop. Like your eyeshadow is going to be even brighter if you start off with a good base. So make sure you're using a concealer or a white eyeshadow base and setting it with a setting powder or white eyeshadow. You feel me? Now I'm going to start with putting tape down just so I can have a nice crisp edge. I made the tape tacky a little bit because I am putting it on top of my foundation and I don't want it to take off my foundation when I take it off. Now I'm just lining out the shape I wanted to make with my eyes and I'm kind of going for that over exaggerated eye shape that happens with drag makeup. Um, I recently did a drag look, you can check that out if you'd like, but I, I fell in love with the way my eyes look. Like my eyes look so freaking big and like fun looking. <laughs> If that's like a good way to describe it, it just looks so much fun. It's just like a lot of fun, you feel me? So, oh, and I also say you feel me a lot. That's something I kind of picked up for myself. But anyway, um, make that eyeliner really, really thick. Then I'm going to make that cut crease really, really high. You feel me? Like the, the cut crease is going to be way above my regular crease area. So now I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette and the black out of this palette. This is my favorite black because it's so freaking pigmented and very easy to control and I'm taking this pointed brush and lightly tracing over where I placed my um, where I wanted my cut crease to be at so I'm lightly building that black I've said it in videos before I'm very scared of black eyeshadow because it's so easy to overdo it but lightly literally lightly all I did was dab my brush into that palette tiny bit by tiny bit and I started to build the color to the point where it was actually controllable like I was comfortable working with black <laughs> Now I'm taking my Urban Decay Heat Palette and I'm going to blur that black out a little bit with the color Amber and a little bit of a little spoolie type of brush and lightly pull it upwards towards my brow area, not too high, you know, like not too high, just pushing the black around, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm trying to explain it the best way possible because I'm really learning as I'm doing the tutorial, you know, like I didn't know how to control black before and now I'm realizing I can definitely control it. You know, the key was it literally just took more patience than I was willing to give it, you know, because <laughs> I like moving fast. So now I'm cutting my crease, I'm cleaning up my crease area. I forgot to say, even if you're making a mess, don't fret, don't get scared. You're cutting it up afterwards with some concealer. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. Um, I probably should have never started with a base, quite frankly, because I am using black. However, it's a force of habit. So yeah, cut your crease, you know, make it high. I'm kind of making it higher than the crease that I originally mapped out for myself because I was like, I can, I can do it higher, you know, like it needs to be higher. <laughs> so yeah, just cutting my crease, trying to keep talking, but yeah. <laughs> Then I took my heat palette again and took the color sauce out of it and a flat brush and lightly started to tap that on top of my um, concealer just to make sure it's set in place and I kind of wanted to add a little bit of color to it. Then I took my favorite jewels, my Michaels jewels and my Glitter Lips Glitter Glue and I started to place down my jewels. 
Um, if you're not in a rush like me, you can definitely order these jewels online for like $1.99. However, I was in a rush and I ran to my local Michaels and just picked up these jewels. And they have like a blue type of purple reflective to it. That's really pretty, but like I said, it's not worth $8.99. You can definitely go on AliExpress or eBay at that and get some jewels and wait a month for them. <laughs> that's really how it'd be going. But yeah, I just placed these jewels on there and moved on to doing underneath my eye. I'm using my NYX eyeliner for this and I just lightly lined underneath of it. Then when I got to my tear duct area, I lined underneath of my tear duct if that makes sense and placed white in the middle. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna just show y'all instead of saying it in this one. Then I finished up my face with some lashes. I believe they're Coco Lashes in um, something Beyonce. I know it has something to do with Beyonce. Queen Bee. <laughs> Duh, I'm such a dumbo. Yeah, in Queen Bee. Then I highlighted my brow bone area a little bit and moved on to my face. I'm using my NYX Chrome Highlighter in Twilight Twinkle to give myself a little bit of a reflective look and my Ulta Blush in Majestic. This is going to give me like a purple type of reflective look. And today I'm actually using an um, a eyeshadow brush for my nose highlight and it worked amazing like I don't even know what urged me to do this but it works so pretty it worked to the point where I tried to put it on my cheeks as you can see and I was like nah let me move on to a regular brush <laughs> but yeah I use a regular brush to apply the highlight then I sprayed my face put my blush on and went on with my topper if you don't know what a topper is it looks good on top of your highlight and pretty ashy by itself I'm using my Becker highlighter in opal it kind of just gives your highlight that extra oomph you know like that extra pop to it <laughs> now I'm using my line prime dupe and it's in black I don't really experiment with lip colors but when I do I want to use like you know cheap lip colors so I use dupes and things like that and I am finished you guys I'm done thank you guys for watching I really hope you enjoyed this look as much as I enjoyed making it and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye y'all Looks, looks, I be giving looks, fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks, I be giving looks, fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks, I be giving looks, fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks, I be giving looks, fashion week in New York and I just got booked.